Hello, internet. It's me. Remember this? I do. Uh, it's been a while. Oh, maybe over a year? I don't remember. It's been so long that I don't remember where I left off. Uh, on my, on my YouTube, I made it up to, I believe, 51, but I definitely played further than that and didn't keep the VOD because I'm super smart. So here's what we're going to do. We're just going to start over from 50 because no one can prove that I played it already. Uh, and it'll be a fun blast from the past that I won't actually remember anyway. Um, so we are playing number 50, Dissolution by Lutz or Lutz. I think Lutz. It is Phobos Anomaly Reborn E1 M3 for the Ultimate Doom. And the description is Lutz has always been the undisputed master of reimagining what the IWAD maps could have been, and this map, and PAR in general, broke all kinds of ground, using boom features and reduced limits to do things that Doom mappers could only dream about before. Intricate sector detailing, tons of ragged blast damage, enormous rooms, secrets hidden in deep pools of slime. And then, of course, there's the moment where every new player was like, wait, I can actually go up inside the crane? I do remember, I do remember a crane, so that's good. Uh, I get, this is going to be hurt me plenty, because that's what you get, the default difficulty, if you just skip around, so... Yeah, here we go. Again. Maybe. Uh, now, something I do need to keep in mind more when commenting on these... Oh, goodness. Okay. Is the year they were made, because some of them are, are memorable specifically for being influential on a bunch of later stuff. So there's some Seinfeld effect here, where if I've already seen all the later stuff, and then... I see the original, I'm like, well, this is just, this is just normal. This is just what maps are. I do, I do sort of remember this. Okay, that was, that was clever. Classic thing explodes as you walk past. Um, I'm guessing from the description that this is boom compatible. Uh, for the curious, I'm playing everything in GZ Doom because then I don't have to mess around with ports or even care what port it's for. I would love more shells. I'd love to get through there, but I cannot. I would love if that guy would not shoot me. Oh, I see how it is. I'm also using a combination of Smooth Doom with all the extra stuff turned off. Uh, it, it comes with like alternate monster death animations and stuff, but I don't like them. Uh, so I just have essentially extra frames for existing animations. And uh, damage numbers and HP nums or something? I forget what it's called. Uh, but it gives me numbers like I'm playing World of Warcraft, which adds nothing to the experience, but I, I guess it sort of helps track how good I am at killing a thing. Does this come down? Yeah. I'm going to shoot this guy so hard. I can't believe this. Now, one thing I remember from the forgotten time I played this before is getting totally lost in this room after this Floods. So, uh, we'll have to try and not do that. Are we quick saving? I feel like we should quick save. Just, just to save, save some time, uh, if I do something stupid. Uh, I, I dinked around with some, some rendering settings. And of course, of course I use 
uh, no, no texture interpolation. Because why would you want that when it just makes everything very blurry? But I did find out, um, this is a, a very good room for it, actually. Uh, I turned on MIP maps and also cranked up anisotrophic, you know, that word, uh, filtering. So now stuff far away looks better. I can even show you. Well, it might not be that obvious in this scaled down, bit crushed stream, but uh, yeah, with like none on, you can like you can kind of see pixels flickering and stuff over there. It's got kind of that crunchy, scaled down effect, but uh, with with some mip maps, it is very smooth. So that's cool. I will never notice. Uh, oh. Okay, switches that do more than one thing uh, is impressive. This is probably a voodoo doll happening somewhere. I think I, I think I broke it a little bit though by backing up. Why did the sky raise over? Okay. I'm not totally sure what's happening here. Oh, I love this detonator. Well, let's uh, blow some stuff up. Yeah, this is this is pretty impressive, actually. I don't think I gave it enough credit first time. 2003. That's. I don't know like the timeline especially well. I think of Z Doom as existing around like 2001 or two. I don't like that sound. What? What? Did you guys shoot me from all the way down here? I like this uh, specter fuzz effect also. It's, it's high res, but sort of captures the feel of the original. Wasn't the original fuzz effect a bug? It was supposed to look like something else, but I don't know what something else is. Nice. I'm a sucker for just cracks and floors. There, there's a thing where, ooh, slightly deep water, I think. Yeah, that's definitely more than a step onto the floor. Okay. Um, but but there's a, a thing I've complained about before where people will make maps and they'll want to make them really detailed and they'll make all this like four pixel wide detailing. Like even even like this on this window that's that's eight pixels. There's nothing in original Doom that's eight pixels. Um, but like here it looks fine actually. Um, because it's not something I'm going to run into. But I like when uh, when they keep the general detailing chunky and then sort of conserve the, the fine details for a feature like this. So it's kind of eye-catching. Because otherwise, everything is eye-catching. And then you can't tell really what is supposed to be interactable anymore. Well, that's, that's new, right? Yeah. Okay, that's... Honestly, kind of amazing. I can think of how that was done, but I don't know how to explain it without, like, a whiteboard. Is this also deep water? Yeah. Wait. Oops. I shouldn't be jumping. <laughs> Probably in this 2003 Doom map, jumping is not intended. But that's okay, because we would have just come across this way. And this is like a, a clever puzzle, too. And this is Doom 1. I mean, that doesn't matter a whole lot, but... Wait. Oh, this is where I got stuck. I remember this. Came around here, thought, wow, what a cool way to do progression. 
jump across the top of the boxes to reach a place I couldn't get to before. And then, uh, there's just bars. Is this new? You look new. I also like just columns. Sometimes I think about, uh, cause when I've, when I've tried 3D mapping, oh crap. Oh, you're not a Hell Knight either, because this is Doom 1. This is going to take forever. Great, chance to talk. So, yeah, a problem I've, I had when mapping, which I haven't even tried a few years, honestly, was that I would I'd be like, alright, I need a room here. Now what? I don't know. What do you put in a room that's... Like, sometimes a room is, you know, a set piece or a central location, and then you have some, some obvious places to go with it, but sometimes a room is just, I just kind of need a room here. So when someone has what is essentially a rectangle, but could, but puts like just a cool decoration in it, which also breaks like line of sight and gives you cover. Uh, I feel like I kind of nod like, yeah, see what you did there. I do like the edging on these doors. That's very nice. I love support three, which is the name of this texture. Or uh, this might be an edit or a slightly creative use of it, because support three is not quite divided into three parts evenly. But uh, it's it's or no oh, maybe maybe that's it. Okay. Uh, it's the texture you see, uh, like on the bottom of teleporters. More of this. I am really hurting. I remember that too. Okay. Well, let's use the more fast gun. And let's get shot less. And okay, those guys are gonna be hard to hit. I'm trying this new thing where I try and Try and shoot the hit scanners first. It's new and I came up with it. Uh, I thought that would change the texture and be very cool, but it did nothing. I like this extremely translucent window that's clearly there, but not... I can't even tell what the texture is. Oh, I think that's a UAC logo on it. Uh, okay. Other door first, then? Hello. Uh, Doom 1 just kind of feels like heretic a little bit. Everything is is slightly stronger aw, than the shotgun. Just a little bit. I'm sure nothing bad will happen with this switch with Doom Guy's head on a stick next to it. I like the rebar sticking out of concrete that's uh, that's pretty slick and yeah uh, conservation of detail the part that I actually walk in you know kind of open space little ledge whatever but then you know I've got some little tiny things here that are just kind of eye candy I'm sure nothing bad will happen okay that's actually really nice shadowing damn damn I have no idea what these switches do. I have some idea what those switches do. Where's the shotgun? Who got me? Get out of here. 
I guess one Cacodemon is a bit more of a threat in a game with no super shotgun. Okay, so... What happened? I pressed some things, and there were some Cacodemons. And now I can press this question mark. Anything change here? Yes, that works now. Okay, honestly, a thing that doesn't work, but then you do something and now it does work, is... I like that. Uh, wait, what did that do? That was crane access. I don't even know where the crane is. Uh, but I like that, even though, you know, there wasn't a... Oh, I should not be able to step on top of that tree, huh? It's fine. It's fine. But yeah, even though there's not a great indication in Vanilla Doom of why a thing didn't work. Unless it's a key, I guess that's the very simple version of that idea. Well, now there's guys... Oh, okay, now that opens. Th that is kind of a... Wish I could fit through there. Like, I have no idea that this is crane access. Oh, I guess... I guess you can kind of see it out the window, but... It's hard to get a, a full view of it until you're actually out here. So when something said crane access enabled, I didn't know... This is where to go. Oh, that's why I couldn't fit through, because then I could just, uh, come out here. Okay, it looks like, looks like we're almost done. But I have to say, I don't know how you would even dream up, uh, this contraption. Also, I'm pretty sure this, uh, half a marine is custom and beautiful. But like, even if you think, okay, I want to make a crane, like, just being able to envision in your head all the pieces that go into this monstrosity, like, switching between solid parts and, and parts that are made out of, like, fake lines like this, and then, you know, also making it fake solid like this, is, uh, quite impressive. Okay, this lift doesn't even need to have, like, the fake lines on it, but I feel like it does that to sort of justify that that is a normal form of architecture that's completely reasonable. And so, of course, I would be able to step on all this stuff. There's no way this works in co-op, because if I can stand up here, that means that all of this below me is impassable, because this is... This is one big, uh, like, sort of tower that I'm standing on now. It's just invisible. Notice the cacodemons cannot go under it. Or shoot through it. They have to come up before they can shoot. And occasionally parts of it are still solid. Ooh. So all those, like, multi-use switch effects were also used to raise a bunch of invisible stuff here. But anyway, now I get to do this, which doesn't look like it works, but it does. Uh, that looks like point of no return. Well, that looks just broken. Point of no return it is. Now we're just above all that stuff. Oh, I thought we were inaccessibly above, but we're not. But we are on the other side of it. Wait, isn't there like a train at the end of this? That sounds familiar. This is going to be like a big train room with an arch file. No, that doesn't sound right in Doom 1. I hear stuff moving. 
and I heard an explosion. Don't know what that did. Now, I don't love this. Okay. Get that guy chewed on a bit. Yeah, trains. Is there someone else with a gun? Crap. Oh, okay. Well, we'll do that then. I can't believe I missed my last rocket. Okay. Yeah, like, Doom Detail is one thing, but I think Doom, T Doom Detail, while preserving the chunky aesthetic of Doom, um, is very impressive. Or, I think I got interrupted before saying this earlier, but like the, the whole thing with Doom is, you know, maybe a wall is a secret or whatever, but if every wall is made out of like a zillion uh, tiny extra detail like greebles, then, well, nothing feels like it could be suspicious. It all just feels like the same sort of untouchable environment artist did this that modern 3D games do, which always feels to me like something was lost. In classic Doom, anything is potentially interactable. Is that a lift or is that permanent? It looks permanent. Now, if this started moving, that would be impressive. Just kidding. That is super impossible. What am I... Oh, did that just drop this crate? Okay, that's really cute. I mean, you can tell, again, that it was super fake, but... Man, bravo. Okay, and to exit, I just need to ship myself off somewhere. Now, I do notice uh, that there are apparently seven secrets in this level, and I found zero... So, uh, I, th I think it's fair if we take, like, two to five minutes to just have a peek. Oh, crap. I gotta jump to get back. That's rude. Really? Like, so, I can get this far. So, if I'm here, I can come all this way and still backtrack, but as soon as I jump off of this platform specifically, I'm stuck. That's weird. Um, so, the blue door is... Either there's a secret blue key, or there's just a blue door for narrative reasons. Which is interesting. Oh yeah, train station reminds me that uh, one trick that I have seen people do... Oh, I can go up here. Uh, is set you on a level on a train, which you're not supposed to jump off of, and make it look like the whole train is moving by just having very fast scrolling textures on both sides. What is this? Pits. With computers. Okay. All right, if I were gonna put <laughs> seven secrets in here, I swear I remember there being a bridge across this thing last time. Can I, can I squeeze through any of this tree stuff, maybe? No. What? Okay, I can't go back. Well, if you don't want me to secret hunt, then I guess I won't. Why do I still hear something moving behind this wall? Very suspicious. Is 
Oh well. I guess I guess one thing about this map is it is memorable for the the detailing, but it also feels oddly this is gonna sound real mean. Um soulless? Like it's a it's a place, but it feels like a very a very undistinct place. But it is also named Phobos colon anomaly reborn, so I assume it's going for the original Doom aesthetic, which is pretty pretty nondescript. Doom is only descript because we're very used to it, so maybe that means he nailed the aesthetic. Alright. Oh, as usual we will we will do like fifteen seconds of the next map for funsies. Uh, never mind. Maybe this is impossible. So are we on? We're, I guess we're on the... Oh yeah, yep, there we go. So... <laughs> the train is not moving. These are conveyor belts moving very quickly. Um, and scrolling the trees and at the end of the conveyor belt somewhere down there off to the left is a silent teleporter that just moves them to the far right so they just go in a continuous loop and presumably if I jump up then it will just instant death me okay well it it telefragged me with myself and it still looks like the train is moving because now my body's on the conveyor belt and I'm sliding backwards and yeah okay I just hit hit the edge and got stuck so now it's scrolling at me, which is really unpleasant, actually. But yeah, people doing shenanigans uh, in in Doom Engine using like tiny features that other people added to the Doom Engine is very satisfying. Also, I got a new microphone. I know my previous one had some issues with. Um, left and right and I just realized I still have this one set on mono uh oh okay well apparently mono is also what my computer is receiving so I can't un mono it well whatever I guess you can't get binaural EV oh boy all right how do I do one of those uh little things where I add like a stream marker? Yeah. Where is that? Here it is. Didn't add one for number 50, but that's okay. So next up is Happy Time Circus 2 by Shitbag from 2009. I I can't tell if I have memories of this or not. It is described as follows. <clears throat> 2009's Happy Time Circus 2 is the sordid tale of a nameless traveler whose car breaks down on some nondescript country back road, compelling him to walk towards the nearest town in search of aid. Upon reaching the outskirts, he finds nothing but eerie desolation and a few flyers advertising that evidently the circus has recently come to town. Madness ensues. One of the most complex and convincing town or city Zidu maps of its day, HTC2 takes a colorfully schlocky pool of influences and a general concept which is frankly absurd, or euphorically stupid even, and twists it into something more simultaneously menacing, oppressive, and thrilling than it has any right to be, a detour not to be missed by fans of macabre atmosphere. This screenshot seems familiar and yet not okay well here is the link to the map i think it is a yeah a one hit wonder uh so it's just that map do i have it downloaded already i do i assume this is doom 2 uh oh Oh no! Uh, GZ Doom will not load this. No, 
due to a decorate error. Let me see if there is a fix. Let's see, okay, apparently the author left the community for good and deleted his email. So he has vanished. Okay, there is a fix. Oh, there's a fix to this in the next version of GZ Doom, but uh, I don't know when that will be out. And my WAD editor is broken. I'm, that must be why this looks vaguely familiar, but I have no memories of it because I could not run it. All right. Um, I would have to recompile either GZ Doom itself or Slade to fix this. Is 4.8 out yet? No. Crap. Okay. Uh, well, we will have to skip Happy Time Circus 2 again until GZ Doom 4.8 is out. Um, an older version would also work, but it would have to be like circa 2009, and I I don't even want to contend with the kinds of problems that running a 12-year-old copy of Z Doom might cause. So we will come back to that um, when possible. But for now, we'll have to move on to number 48, The Ruins, which I do remember. The Ruins by Roger Rittenauer? I don't know. Uh, from 1998, Map 01 of Earth. Uh... <clears throat> it's been a long time since 1998, and jaded doomers are wont to look down on Earth for its highly simplistic gameplay and visual design. But those of us who have been around since the time when the map set was a plausible favorite will never forget how serene that opening shot is, with the waves crashing up against the shore below and Stand By Me playing in the background. So this is where I get DMCA'd for a 1998 MIDI copy of a 90s song. Let's see, did it pick up GZ Doom? Uh, nope. There we go. All right. Does anyone else remember this? I'm trying to hear the music, which I have kind of turned down. This doesn't ring any bells for me. Oh wait. Oh yeah, it does. Anyway, yeah, this is the serene opener. Which is honestly kind of impressive for 1998. I'm not even sure how this is done. Is this like dehacked? Or a really weird texture trick? Let's, uh, let's turn the music up. Now there's going to be a Baron right here. Oh, there's going to be a Hell Knight right there. Okay, I, a thing I remember about this... Wait. Wait, this has like random enemy placement or something. It was really bizarre. Like, the first time I played it, I just kept running out of ammo. It was really, really rough. But then I tried it again, and it was fine. And I realized that the big enemies were in different places. Oh, well, here's a Baron. Let's see if I can get him to thin this herd a little bit. Oh, yeah, okay, I remember this one. All right. Oh, whoops. This is like a 60s song, right? I don't think they're going to come after me for this. Who 
who sings Stand By Me? I don't remember the artist. Um, there's a lot of entire boxes of shells here. Another funny thing about GZ Doom, um, besides Al, besides having having okay, by default GZ Doom does not have WASD controls. Um, blurs the textures and also has like wonky sort of default OpenGL kind of lighting mode uh, and that's all that's all weird but I have this set to Doom mode which I think is an accurate emulation of the original game except that stuff near you is very slightly lighter just sort of you know the glow of protagonist that exists in video games which I like I feel like I just heard someone's voice or maybe there was a weird note in the midi Ben E. King is this a one-hit wonder Because I have no idea who that is. Was this door here before? Did Picky up the key make the door just come into existence? Okay, I do like the shadows. Ah! Jesus, right in the face. Oh my god. Alright. Well, luckily we have this serene midi to soothe my wounded ego. Oh, I missed a box of bullets before. Let's shoot this guy, because uh, that looks like a secret, and if I ever get in there, I don't want to be face-to-face -to, -face to him in the dark. Oh, yeah, no. Uh, Chat says, I think a lot of these era games were just bit crushed rock from the era. And, I mean, that was infamously <laughs> the entire Doom 2 soundtrack is basically... What was his name? I don't remember. Uh, but the, the music guy for it just ripped off a bunch of rock. Like, the barrels of fun uh, music is, is just straight up uh, them chains by somebody. I'm not. I'm not that great at 80s rock. I always thought it was funny. That was uh, as a kid. Like I'd never heard the original song, but that map had the catchiest music for me. And then turns out it's also the the most infamously ripped off one. Hey, we're doing okay on health. That's that's nice. Okay, yeah, see, uh, let's, uh, let's do some, where's my save over me slot? Oh my god, this is too many throwaway garbage slots. Where's random wads? What order are these in? Oh wait, oh, they're, they're separate for, for different games. Okay, so this is, yeah. Doom World 100. Yeah, there was not a Revenant down here before, so... So there is some kind of random spawn thing going on. In a map from 1998. Completely unnecessarily, like... It's not like it affects strategy wildly or anything, because you only get a couple weapons. It's just a weird quirk in this intro map. What a... What a very curious decision. Oh yeah, Them Bones by Alice in Chains. I thought it was Alice something. I want to say Alice Cooper. That didn't sound right. That's a guy, right? I don't know anything. It 
It is it is quite dark. Ow. Damn. I can't see. Yeah, I was going on about how, yeah, guys, I used the really accurate light emulation, and also now I can't see a fucking anything. Okay, that's better. Let's, uh, do some sniping. Okay, I guess, I guess the damage numbers thing does kind of give away if I'm actually hitting anything, which is a little bit of a, a gameplay change. Alright, let's, uh, get the box of shells I left behind. Because I do, I do remember running out of ammo a lot on this. I guess we'll just go splunking. Oh, deep water that mostly works. Uh, oh boy. Is this a, am I supposed to be able to get through there? No way. That's clearly a secret. I can see under the floor that there is a light amp go. How about this one? Oh, there we go. This, boy, what is this supposed to look like in software? Let's see what this looks like in software. Uh, I mean, not a lot better. Ow. Okay, let's, uh, let's book it. I can't even tell what is happening okay there are 10 secrets uh uh oh my god this is awful so it seems very much like i should be able to get through here as well but nope i definitely can't is there a switch or something? Like, this looks like the kind of bridge that should raise. Oh, fuck. That's gonna be a problem. Come here, problem. Can I just... No. <laughs> Can I just take an Indiana Jones leap of faith? No, that's... That's not real. Uh... Are there, are there more places? I really hope that rad suit was not super critical. Boy, there are light levels between zero and max. What is this? Nothing. Okay, did... Something inexplicably open back here? No. What? I mean, they're, they're almost, wait. Oh. Oh, you just floated down from the pain elemental. This, oh, was that there before? That looks like it was definitely not there before. Okay, well, this is one of those maps where you walk around and stuff just happens. And now, if I recall, there's a big outdoor bit, which may or may not suck. This map has all three keys. It's not that big. Wait, you fell apart in halves. I said I turned that off. Oh, oh. Stealth Revenant. 
Yeah, hang on a second. Where's the... Uh... How do I turn off? Extra death animations off. Okay, that just doesn't work right then. Well, that's fine. Uh, I left a box of shells back here, which I direly need to have. This extremely chill midi is hilarious to me. Okay, outdoor parts of this, pretty cool. Indoor parts, eh. All right, everybody. Let's party. What? Oh, hello. I really want a cacodemon to shoot somebody. Come on. Hmm. Sure, how I'm gonna. Oh, so close. So I have bad instincts with with Mankey by fireballs. Like I know you can just do like a very slight strafe to avoid them, but I just want to get in completely out of the way. Come on, come on. There we go. Yeah, when I played it before, this uh, this didn't go super well. How are there ten secrets? I also like when stuff is infighting to be able to like get live updates on who's winning. Okay. Uh... Now I do something to get this key. Something. Did this. Did coming out here raise a switch in another weird. Okay, yep. Listen, I mean, that's cute and I appreciate it, but I did just play through Hexen, so stuff just arbitrarily happening. Well, that seems like conspicuous. Yeah. Dynamic lights giving secrets away. Uh, but yeah, I, I just had like several days of I walk somewhere and 20 things open with no indication that it happened. Okay. This seems unnecessary. How about this way? Oh my god. No wonder there's 10 secrets. Alright, we'll do that in a minute. Oh my god. This hallway is like exactly as wide as I am. So there's just... Okay, this is probably going to be like this ledge is a secret. Yeah. I did not find this before. Other than the dynamic lighting, which didn't exist when this was made, I don't think this was telegraphed at all, was it? Okay. Oh, here we go. So that is exit only. So, well, we got the blue door still, but obviously there's that, that stuff back at the beginning that we never found. Oh, this is so much better. How do I make this last forever? So, uh, looks like that connects to the right. 
So, over here? Maybe? Or like... I already checked this, but... What? No, my light it. Wait, no, my rat suit. This clearly does not. That's impossible. The only place it could go is here. What? Uh, cliff that is ID behold. Hmm. Well, I guess we're not getting that. Unless. No. I'll just. I'll just grind my face against every wall. Just in case. No, there's nothing. Uh, I gotta finish this map so I have an excuse to read the last, like, 10 minutes of chat. Hello. Hmm. Oh boy. I don't really want to get involved in that mess. I guess this does compensate for how I can't actually hear sound effects very well. Hello. Uh, since I have everything kind of turned down for the stream. What is this? I don't know. Oh, they're gonna super kill each other. Did that open a thing back here? Probably not. All the way here, here, no, here, no, nope, okay. Here, it would be very unreasonable to have that switch uh, do that, so probably for the best. Anyway, uh, are y'all done? It looks like the Hell Knights uh, did not put up much of a fight. Yeah, a tricky thing about this uh, fake textured hole in the wall is that it is not, for the most part, physical geometry. So, it is not going to stop projectiles. And I keep almost thinking it will. That's gruesome. Oh, that's that's the texture. That's not stuff dying? Yeah. Well, the green is, is actual blood decals, but the rest is not. Oh, did I just point in a return? No, there's stairs. Oh, come on. What a, what a horrible exit monster. I do wonder how the, the random... What? Is someone shooting me? Oh, I thought there were only three monsters left, so... Yeah, okay. Buddy. Nope. Oh, get the guy in the back. All right. Very, very peaceful. This is weird. I guess this is very 1998, though. Just a, a strange combination of cool but slightly clunky effects. Things like the random monsters that I don't actually know how that works that don't really serve the map at all and I don't know Th this does feel like very much an artifact of its time god I wonder what the rest of this wand is like um well unless we want me to secret hunt for basically forever I don't know how we're gonna find any more 
Oh, they're even hidden on the map. Like, if you look where, where this chunk of wall was, it's just missing. So the author just completely hit those bits. Very rude. Um, oh. Oh, is there another way I could go up there? Okay, well, let's have a quick look. Where that corner was. I can't believe I only saw this because of the glow coming out under the floor. Is there... Oh, uh, I don't know if I want to do this. It does not look like I can fit through there. Oh well, I guess we'll never know. Just absolutely beautiful music. This is like a cool vista to end your first map on. And I do like the foam coming up over the edge of those rocks. It's it's very silly, but it's, it's pretty nice. Oh, you can see the moon reflection in the water. I think, or maybe that's just Jeezy Doom fucking up the sky. All right. And directly into good level design, as people call it. There's definitely some good stuff at the top of this, right? Oh yeah. Oh, what? What? That's just going. It just doesn't stop. This is just the next map. I don't actually need to play this. Okay, hang on. Let me uh, scroll back in chat. Do, 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 do. Yep. Okay, I'm glad people can answer questions when I don't read them. <laughs> okay. Uh, that was... It's interesting to call that memorable. I, I mean, I guess it's funny to me that the description on Doom World doesn't even mention the map, like the, the meat of it in the middle. It's just the beginning and the screenshot is from the end just showing the, the waves on the shore. And I think, I think it was a, a good choice to have that appear both at the beginning and the end. Uh, the middle is so, it's, it's very 98. I don't, I don't know what else to say about it. Yep. Complete with the weird MIDI ripoff of someone else's music. Please don't tell Twitch on me. Hmm. Okay. Next is number 47, which I feel, uh, I look at it and I am scared. Number 47, get rid of this, Jade Earth by Jodwin from 2010. A dizzying plunge deeper, deeper, and ever deeper into the dark secret at the dead heart of a lost UAC facility buried deep within the planet's mantle. Jade Earth is the quintessential mega map, a single level so rich and expansive in structure and progression as to read more like a full episode in its own right than as a single conventionally sized map. 
Vast levels replete with ideas and content are a fixture as old as P-Wadding itself, of course, but Jodwin's painstakingly wrought, finely balanced, and expertly paced magnum opus achieves a sense of thematic cohesion and deep immersion that has seldom been equaled or even attempted. I think... Did Desino play this recently? Or, or somebody? I remember someone playing this recently and commenting on how it was inspired by the mucus flow or maybe they played the mucus flow and they mentioned this I don't know okay here we go I like I I feel like I need to defend playing Hurt Me Plenty, but frankly, it's the default, and I feel like your map should be still a good jaunt on Hurt Me Plenty, and I'm more interested in the architecture than in getting shot a lot. So those are my feelings. Also, uh, if I skip directly to a map from the title screen using the console, it just automatically picks uh, Hurt Me Plenty. So. This way is more fair to maps that are in slot one. Well, this is a fucking cool opening shot. 904 monsters! Oh no! Okay. Uh, yeah, anyway, I'm not like super amazing at video games. So I feel like playing on UV will, will not not be a good use of everyone's time. Also, now there's still a reason to play it, for it, play it yourself. Um, I remember this. I remember everything being very green and very twisty. Yeah, no, this is not the mucus flow like that I was thinking of, I think. Oh, you know a map's gonna be big when they start you off actually pistoling things. What did that do? What? What is happening? Where did you guys come from? The only door was the front door, which I came from. Alright, let's just uh, clear out some dudes. I love, I love this texture. It feels so... Like, clearly, you know, it's it's a little panel of monitors, but it just feels like, to the player, it says, there is nothing here for you. It might as well just be, like, black studded metal. And that's kind of what it looks like out of the corner of your eye. But, you no, know, it's, it's computers. Just not with even a hint of anything interesting. Okay, you guys came from this. What? Oh my god. Okay, this is... This is going to be the kind of map where I can't even call a lift without some kind of nonsense. Like, I don't get up there. There's a clip. I would like it. But I guess I'm not having it. Okay, this is a really cool light fixture, actually. I love that. Oh, good. Well, here's my shotgun. Yeah, I think I started to have a bit of a time figuring out where I was going just because this whole base is made of green brick. And as I recall, it's quite large. Ow. Like, why is this here? I love nonsense details. Like, is it someone's job to just go into this little tiny hidden hallway and be like, all right, time to do some Linux hacking on four screens at once. Is this a bar? Are you barring me? That's adorable and annoying. That's just nothing. That's where it came from. 
I love ceiling details like this too, just a little vent thing. That's good. Oh, look at the lights. It's the opposite of recessed lighting. It's excess lighting. Well, that was real smart. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, right. Uh, I do have a thing somewhere that just auto quick saves like every minute or something, but I always forget to use it and now it's too late. Okay, well, let's do that again, but better. Like getting shot directly in the head less. I'm so sure you die. My instinct is always to shoot the bigger guys first, cause cause they hurt more, but that that's not actually a good idea. It's my doom tip. Shoot the guys with guns. The guns are harder to dodge. Okay, so now I have a second chance at figuring this lift out, but I am not any smarter than before. Wait, wait, this is a... What? This is clearly something. I mean, it's even lighter than everything else, but it doesn't do anything. What is happening? I'm in the opening room and this map is already confounding. All right, where's my dua slot? There we go. Hey, what's up? I do like that the rooms they feel like they follow a consistent sort of shape theme. Like, there's a lot of 45 degree angles, which feels a little silly, like going into just an office and saying, wow, there's a lot of 90 degree angles here. But they're used so consistently that it feels like a real like motif is going on here. I mean, this is straight up an octagon, obviously. But, um... Even in... Uh, this is a totally different room. Yeah, like, just like little details like this, completely unnecessary. It's only there to kind of uh, emphasize the theme. And that's, that's pretty cool. I also like the inset and slightly apart from the door key markers. See, like, this is the kind of place where having doors in two different colors or something, I think that would, that would work out pretty well. Rock and hard place. Oh, oh, come on, shoot me. Oh, get one of them. Right in the ass. Yeah. Crap, I hit you first. More things that don't do anything. I love edging. It's just, it's real good. That's, I think the Doom community has sort of settled on, oh yeah, this is actually like the best way to detail anything. It's just add some kind of edge texture that's not, not too skinny. You know, keep it chunky. Also just have a bunch of lights and stuff. Something I have always wanted, but never gotten around to doing, uh, is, um, so all the monsters have a height and a radius. They're actually rectangular prisms, not cylinders like that makes it sound, but, you know, close enough. But the position of, like, the size of their sprite does not always correlate very well to that so I really want to make a chart of all the monster sprites 
with their actual hitbox placed correctly on them. Plus, plus Doom Guy, who's uh, like you can't what? Uh, oh God, guns! I'm so tired of gun gun guys. Don't like them. Yeah, see, on UV, we would be doing a lot more shotgunning Hell Knights, I think. Whoop. Why did Jeezy Doom just freeze for a moment? Please be okay? Okay. What the hell was that about? Mm. Wait, hang on. Let me... Uh, I seem to have a lot of CPU happening. Okay, it's mostly OBS and Firefox. Let me... I think I still have Fox Flux running or something. No, I don't. Okay. Never mind. Wanted to make sure I wasn't doing something stupid. Uh, okay, armor is nice. I remember that button. I remember getting the blue key like half an hour from now. And have oh, a blue card. Okay, so that's what we're doing. The cards and skulls are going to be different today. Is there nothing else to do here? I just heard a ka-chunk. Why did I hear that? Wait, again? Again? What? Okay, the map clearly shows that as interactable, but I guess it's not. It might be using the color for... Uh different heights or something. Oh, cute! That was not there before, right? I already feel lost. Everything is... yeah, it's all just green doors. I came in there. Okay, I got that. Um, well, that door looks more important. So let's do this one first. Okay. Classic. I love... I love when I go to work for secret government organization or whatever the UAC is and they just have, you know, radioactive poison flowing directly through my office. Uh, nope. Okay. This is an odd alcove. That light doesn't quite hit anything. Why is that there? Oh my god, but it is actually slightly lighter. Someone put a lot of effort into this. Someone. If only we knew who. Reminds me of, uh, was it Linguisa? I don't know. Someone uh, complained about how every time there's a, a wild thing in the Doom community that hits, like, mainstream awareness, you get a bunch of uh, news articles going like, someone made a Doom map that's four miles wide. And it's like, yeah, we know, we know who. Their name's on it. I, I, oh. The wall got in the way. I guess I sympathize with uh, the, the the publications there. Because it does also seem... Did I leave a medikit somewhere? Yes. It does also seem a little weird to write an article and headline it, Bob, guy you've never heard of, releases his map that is four miles wide. Then again, why not? Oh, I've never heard of him. What's he known for? Well, probably the thing this headline is about. Well, sometimes it is, it is someone who's known in the Doom community, but then they just get reduced to someone. Like, I feel like I'd be extra mad if Skillsaw did something wacky. 
and, and got an article just called Someone. I'm like, no, come on. That's not someone. The guy made Valiant, right? Valiant with skill saw? I hope so. Uh, okay. This is, this is where we keep the chocolate pudding. I love the square edge briefly on the lowering water. Sewers beneath our office building also have buttons you have to shoot with a gun. So if you get stuck down here, uh, don't. I really like these pipe fixtures in the wall. That's actually a really effective way of making this kind of weird texture look rounder. Like just at a, at a glance, at a corner of your eye, they look like cylinders. But they're not. In fact, in video games, nothing is cylinders. That's a thing I think about sometimes. Ow. Ow. Like, I feel like vectors did not really take over 2D art the way, well, new weapon, uh, the way some of us sort of hoped would happen in kind of the early 2000s. To some extent they did, but I feel it's, it's mostly like web dev stuff. Okay. This room is nothing. Well, it was a chain gun. Uh, but in 3D, models are just vectors. Just, just a lot of them. And that's the only way you do it. There's no such thing as a raster model, almost. That's just voxels, which very, very few games actually have. Like, offhand, other than the game that comes with Voxeltron, which no one has heard of, I can't name a voxel game. People will say Minecraft, but that's not fucking voxels. They rotate. It's not voxels. Oops. Oh, getting stuck on environment detail. I can't... I For a second, I was sure this would lead me back the way I came. Okay, that's the way I came. This is new. Crap. I don't want to deal with you guys. Oh, okay. No, that, that's ideal. That works out. Ah. Uh. There's, uh, there's not a lot of strafe space here. Uh, well that has completely ruined my mental map. Okay, we're here again. So they are right around that corner. There's... Ah, Annis. Annis, I'm very busy. Ah, please do not pull on my headphone cord, Annis. Can't believe there's skeletons guarding the health in the UAC building. I'm starting to think the UAC just has too many buildings. You're blinking. That doesn't mean anything. There's ten secrets in this one too, and uh, we are more than ten percent through the map now, and have not yet found one. Oh wait! Oh, Annis, is your food uh, enclosed? Yeah. Okay. I think uh, I think his food got put away. One second.
Hello, it's me. I have, I have fed Annis. Let me, let me glance at the chat. Do do do. Hollis thought I was a gamer, but he was wrong. Um, yes, I did play this one already, but I forgot where I left off on this list and also lost the VODs. So we're doing it again. Also, my favorite part of putting these on YouTube is I talk to the chat, but that's not actually part of the stream, so... Eh. You'll just have to guess what everyone is saying. Uh, okay. Right, so, what am I doing? I literally don't know. I really... I love this, although... I feel like, usually, this implies some weird things about how sewers work. Like that they're just hollow behind the walls. Uh, shouldn't there be... something in here? Wait. Okay, there's a thing... Ooh. Oh, crap. I have to go all the way around. And it was behind bars anyway. Like, I did all this, I got to the end with the revenants, and then there was... Nothing there. Oh! Oh! Okay, well... That makes sense. So now... Uh... I don't know. But I bet something is different. Somewhere. I hope I'm going backwards. It seems like I am. Was it here? That was bars, but no. Oh my god. This is where I came in. There has to be. Oh, okay. Here we go. Let's do it. Okay. Now we're on the second floor of the sewers, a thing that exists. The UAC's budget is like 12 trillion dollars, and this is what they spend it on, just increasingly elaborate sewers that you can't navigate without hitting 20 switches and having a gun. Okay, don't you dare. This is interesting. I always thought of these as the default state was up and when you pull them, flip them down. But now, it seems like this map consistently flips them the other way. Which I guess, I guess if you're turning power on, that's actually more often how it works, huh? Interesting. I don't know where, which way it actually is in Doom. Also, I gotta say, one of my favorite things is, um... This is actually kind of funny, so... I better, I better walk as I talk here. Um, in Doom... Anus. You will go in your cat bed, Anus? In Doom, the textures are not stored directly. They are stored as patches. Which are pieces of textures, like, um... Uh, I don't have a good example right now, but like something that's like this tall and repeats, like the top and bottom parts are probably exactly the same. When you place it in a map, it is this tall, but it's not actually stored this tall in the data files. It'll be like, there'll be a patch that's the top half or something, and then the texture is just defined as the patch being placed twice to sort of fill the space. And so, um, there's, there's all the switch textures, which are generally some kind of existing wall with a switch on it. And so those are also done with patches. Uh, they, they take the, the texture pieces that, oh my god, that make up the original normal piece of wall. Uh, and then they, they slap a, uh-oh. Oh my god, how did I get away with that? I didn't. I thought there was something behind me. That's so rude. 
Uh, and then they slap a switch texture on top of it. And in a map editor, that's just one single texture. And I think it's really funny how a very common thing in modern Doom is to take one of those textures and place it in an alcove this size to crop out the switch part. And so I have no idea what, like, which of the flippy switch textures this is. Um, because all that's visible is, is the switch part. So the engine has all this work to... Essentially, the thing it's best for is making switches without duplicating resources. And then we come along and we're like, what if we just use the switch on its own? And also it looks really good and is awesome. Okay, I love this round nothing. I guess it's pipes, but just exposed in a wall. It just looks cool. I want, I want to be in a building someday that is designed like a Doom map. With just like stuff that just looks cool. Uh, what was the point of any- okay, I guess that was the point. Yeah, it's like the rooms are so just sort of intricate that by the time I come back, half this room could be different and I would not be able to tell you for sure. But that guy came out of this door, which I've already... That's how I got in. Okay, this is new. Don't like it. Come here, spooky skeletons. Ooh. Oh. Anyway, I do like I do like this. Like, it doesn't make any sense to have just a floor grate with mystery liquid especially if that was a sewer then you really don't want this exposed to the office but it's it's very cool nonetheless this is green and it's flowing this way and then brown flows that way ah come on so it's like the Radiation is processed into brown. I don't know. Oh, this map is uh, quite rude. I want, I want a bigger gun. Please give me a super shotgun. You made me shotgun an arch file. That's. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. That stuff would help a lot. Oh, thanks. Wishes do come true. That is the most definitely cursed backpack I've ever seen. Oh my god. Wait, I remember this. I remember this being actually kind of hard. Don't cacodemons show up later or something? It's, uh... Ooh, here. Some space. Okay, I have lots of shells actually, so this is fine. Oh, no. I can't pay attention to more than two things at once. I have a disability. I'm not, I'm not sure it really applies here, but... Okay, what? How dare you. I'm sure nothing bad will happen. 
I think something bad is about to happen. Oh, everywhere, huh? Okay, so thanks for the shotgun. Can I have a rocket launcher? Yeah, this seems like the kind of thing that would be uh, significantly worse on UV. Like, probably twice as many guys. Okay. More buttons. I love more buttons. I'm sure nothing bad will happen. Oh god. Oh, awesome. I forgot. Yeah, Smooth Doom uh, allows me to uh, jib with. Gib with? Whatever. Splatter with Super Shotgun. Which is normally impossible because the game uh, inflicts the damage from each pellet independently. So the one that kills them will only be doing like 5 to 15 damage, which will never be enough to jib anything. Uh, but if you add it all up... I already hit that. If you add it all up, um, then it can knock them way under zero. What? Oh, I got a blue key. Oh. Now, oh, crap. I don't have the timing down exactly either, so I have to do a lot of hiding. There we go. Uh, thanks. So, I need to find that itsy bitsy blue switch. That is over. Oh, well, there's that there, but I want the itsy bitsy blue switch. It's gonna be through here? Yes. And. Hmm. This appears to be some kind of. Yes! Double secret. Okay, so that makes me wonder what the one back at the beginning did. But I don't think I can go back there. I don't even remember there being a blue switch and bars here. Was this here? Oh my god. Okay, I think, uh, I think it might escalate now. Oh, I should... I should kill those guys. I should kill that guy also. Oops. I should use the chain gun more. That did something, I don't know. There are a lot of buttons in this map, and I I do like buttons. Oh my goodness. This might be a good, good time for chain gun. You guys sure have more health than I expected. And there's definitely a third one. Okay. Ah, uh, yes. I thought so. Now we go outside. I don't remember anything now. It's been familiar up to this point, but... This does feel kind of familiar to one of the middle Valiant maps. Where you, st I think it, what was it, Crush Depth? Uh, you start in, in a little building that you navigate and then you go out and you're just in a massive area and it was just a tiny bit in the center. 
That was uh, pretty cool. This is different though, it's just black. I hear breathing. Okay, now I'm up here. See, I feel like that door should have led outside again. How do I make you shoot them? Because I would love for that to happen. Oh, what? Oh, that's not fair. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Oh, okay. Good. Be distracted. Ugh. Yeah, seven? That's that's enough. All you need is one. <laughs> uh Okay, oh, no, oh, no. Okay. Yeah, what do they do? 5 to 15? No, they shoot multiple pellets. I don't remember how much damage they can do. But I'm sure it's more than I want. Haha. <laughs> yeah. Okay, buttons. I don't like how it is pitch black outside. Oh, that's good. Finally, I, I really like buttons that show me what they do, even if it's far away. Great. Did I just hear an arch file? I sure did. Oh, this is bad. Hmm. Okay, I guess we're gonna chain gun arch file. Oh dear. Okay. Oh, oh. Cannot take a whole lot of shotgun in my body right now. Alright, are we done with, uh, over here? What is this? Nothing. That's cool. I feel it's like I'm looking into the mainframe, even though I... This is not like a recognizable pattern. Uh... Not doing great at secrets... So far. Maybe, I don't know, maybe they're all later. No, I've definitely missed something. Wait, I have the auto map though. That's the best secret. Um, well, there's a bunch of stuff I didn't do yet. Oh my goodness. Oh no. We've already been doing this for half an hour. Well, I guess we gotta get moving. I don't understand what precisely opened to free that arch file. Did I hear a mancubus? I thought I did. I don't see one. Alright. This looks fine. Oh my god. C. Is there going to be an A also cropped out of the UAC logo? That's very funny. Uh-oh. Uh oh. I thought I went down a step. I fell off entirely. Oh, 
Let's try that again. I don't like lifts where the switch for the lift is not hittable from on the lift. I do like expanded door textures. It is honestly dumbfounding how well this tiles. I don't know if like Doom or Doom 2 ever even make use of that. Okay. Can't do that. So this is the only place to go. Nice. Empty. But we are full on shells. Fuck that guy. Okay, I need to... Um, what killed me last time? Is it Mancubus? There's not even a lot in here. I just thought I could back up and abruptly discover that that was not the case. All these rooms are very... They're weirdly lonely, actually. Because they're really big, but they have like five or six guys in them. You know, guys. And just the sheer scope of this, I feel like 900 monsters is not even that many. I don't know what to do now. Is this a dead end? Oh. What? Oh, oh. I love this green ambiguously rock or grass or weird carpet texture. Oh, this looks familiar. I think we spent a little while here. This giant cargo bay thing. UAC sure has a lot of boxes. Yeah, I don't know. I maybe it's not the monster count. It's something else. It's like there's there's no central part of this. Like most, I, I think I think that's safe to say that a a large number of of stock Doom maps and even a lot of. Uh, like Piwats have have something that feels like a, a main place even even if it's not like classic John Romero hub and spoke thing there's still somewhere that's like okay yeah this is this is the thing that the level is named after this is like the main part this is where I, I reach other things from this does not have any of that it's just places and then more places, and oh, Christ! And it's like like the places have have some identity. Like, okay, this is this is the cargo area, I guess. But it's just a lot of it. It feels like it was generated by like that SCP that just. Cr you put it in a, a room and it just generates more of that room. Ow. Whoops. Uh I, I would love some infighting, but oh. Okay, well I cannot go backwards. That's unfortunate. This is a very awkward place to fight like six revenants. Here we go. We'll just leave. Oh, you guys are so in the way. Uh, the boxes are also so in the way. It's fine. It's fine. Only need one. But you do need the one. 
Zero doesn't cut it. Can I get up here? My favorite, my favorite stupid thing in Doom levels is uh, crates that you can use and they come down. That, that doesn't. There, look, look, even the notion of a use key is is kind of hokey, but what is happening there? I don't know. I love it. Absolute nonsense. Where are they even sinking into? There's just a hole in the floor under them. I don't know. That's weird. Like, most 3D games, if you have something that moves up or down, it's going to be like a separate object that actually sinks into the floor. But in Doom, the, the geometry is not objects, if that, if that makes any sense. Like, there is no into the floor, it's just the floor height itself lowers. Oh, goodbye. And the geometry is sort of like, just dynamically created from... There we go. The specifications of the map. Like, obviously this is, uh, this is rendering an OpenGL right now. So it, it is made out of polygons and stuff, but the polygons just have to change whenever the map changes. And that's, that's the thing that video games, 3D video games seem to avoid as much as possible. I, I like these little supply outposts every so often. It feels like, I guess it feels like I've reached a checkpoint. Oh, thank God, something. Oh, Christ. Da, 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 da. Goodbye. Just a box. Some just left a box here. That's fine. What is this room? Nothing in this room is interactable. Am I missing? No. Wait. Is this a? That's a repeaty switch. So I bet it does this. Yes. Okay. White skeletons. But it is Halloween month. The only holiday that I will allow to have a whole month. I saw, like a couple days ago, in a grocery store, uh, candy canes in the seasonal aisle two weeks before Halloween. And I don't know why that's not against the law. But if, if there's someone campaigning on that, please let me know. People talk about war on Christmas, when clearly Christmas has long since declared war on every other holiday, give or take three months. Okay. So, so yeah, um, that... I think was the most distinct part of the map that I remember. There might be more parts coming up that I don't remember at all, but that was clearly like the the loading bay or something. There were like, I think there were some sort of ceiling claw things and stuff like that. But the first part, I don't know what any of that was. It was just rooms with occasionally computer consoles, but I don't know why your computer system would be set up like that. I'm very scared of this room. I don't know why. Something is definitely going to happen here. God, just in a black void. I guess we're... I guess we're underground, huh? I guess it is called Jade Earth. Well, that's not super bad. I mean... It's not great. But, you know, as as nasty surprises go, four is is only so many revenants. Oh sneaky, I couldn't even see them through the windows. Ah. 
Okay. I feel like it's just the map is so big that occasionally it just gives me a weapon again in case I forgot it. I don't know. I'd love to press that, but I think a bad thing would happen. So I guess we go on a side quest. Okay, we're we're making pro oh my god. We're not making progress. We'll never be done. Hello? God damn it. Da -da 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 -da. Button! Oh, that's just the lift. These things show up a lot. I do like them, although I really feel like I should be able to rub them with something. That's gonna be an escape from something else? Maybe? There's not that much more map over in this corner, though. Let's see. Rockets. I either love or hate the way this is going. I also love when someone neatly stacks all the crates so that I can reach um, the stuff that's up top. What is... Well, that's clearly a lift. Oh, it's not. It goes nowhere. Wow, that's bold. Just using that as a regular floor texture. The, there's nothing else down here. Okay. I just saw it on the map, too. So the whole point of this was the rocket launcher, which means something very bad is about to happen. Okay. Oh. And... Let's just quick save real quick. Who's here? Okay. Is that it? Just, just three guys? Oh! Where'd you come from? Where'd you come from? Oh, there's a lot of stuff showing up. Oh. Okay, you take care of those guys. I'll, I'll do this. Please stay distracted. Oh, so much for rockets. This might be a really bad idea. Yeah, it's just a regular bad idea. Okay. No. Capo over there somewhere. Oh, you guys monster blocked up here? That is great news. Is this new? Where did this come from? <laughs> Stuff just happens. What did that open? Guess I'll take those shells. What? Is this a new room? It's not. There's stuff here that I killed. But there's rockets I didn't pick up, so maybe. Oh, okay. We're we're higher up in the the big cargo room, so I shot these guys before, but I couldn't actually get up here. Oh my goodness. Alright, I got two rockets. That'll help. Um... Oh. Oh, that's nice. Right, I thought about trying to lower those and didn't even... Give it a real try, because I did the other room first. And then that leads down and out. Did I miss anything? I see what looks like I missed something. Oh no, that's just the bridge. Am I done over here? Oh! Oh, this door I can't open just leads to the big outdoor area. Um, which I also can't open from the other side. I don't think it's a real door. It just looks like one. That's clever. So, yep, I don't see any missing stuff. Uh, uh oh. Don't tell me I have to go all the way around. Okay, no problem. That's 
easy. This music is is good. That's my opinion on the music. Okay. Oh, I did miss something. Yeah, the, the health bar does also a little tiny bit give away where stuff is in the dark. Oh. But my defense of that is uh, this would be really annoying. So that's it. That's all I got. Anyone else? Nope, I guess that's it. We are one-third done by monster count. Alright. Now, the question in everyone's mind and on everyone's lips is... Where is a yellow thing? And also, how do I open that door? It's not a real door. Okay. Didn't this all have crates before? Did this change? I guess we just backtrack. I know. Oh. I found it. Okay, that was a tiny restock room. I don't. What? Oh, oh, it opened C. C is now open. All of this, okay, and this is where I came into this cargo building in the first place, so all of that was just to open this door. Excellent. Yeah, a weird thing about this map also is it doesn't just open monster closets, it opens like entire areas that look like they could have been there the whole time. So it is it is a little hard to keep track of uh, where I've been. I, I do like that some of the stuff is like, here's a side quest, oh you finished it, you're done. Rude, rude, naked man. Come on. There we go. There's nothing. I don't like that it's inconsistent about door textures that open or don't. I do like that every just so often it gives me a new super shotgun. <laughs> oh, I see we're in sewers too. That's the door I just tried to open that wouldn't open, so there's there's no reason for it to not be a real door. Uh, well this looks like I cannot get back up, so... Oh yeah, a fun thing uh, that the HP bar mod does is invisible monsters don't get HP bars. Because you can't see them. This is beautiful lighting, what the fuck? Is that the dynamic lighting? It must be, it, like, it's got a soft edge. Okay. Wow, I didn't know that was... I mean, it makes sense, but I didn't know it was actually cut off by... Wait. Oh, you're getting real fancy here. The light is on the floor and the wall, but not on the ceiling. Which is impossible. Is this is this a Zedu map? I don't. Wait. Oh. Oh no. 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 You can do that with boom. There's a. Whatever. It doesn't matter. There's shenanigans that let you alter the the light level of a floor or ceiling or wall without affecting the rest of the sector. 
I feel like I have bad feelings about this. Oh, there's men. An endless supply of things to nibble on me. I guess this is what the rat suit is for. I feel like I'm just compulsively quick saving a lot now. There's gotta be a secret in one of these alcoves, right? Oh, I have automap. Uh, no, there's not. They're just alcoves. Unless they gave me an automap and then also hid the secrets, which would be really rude. Another super shotgun. Boy, it is it is very hard to see anything right now. I remember this room. It makes me want to quick save. I think there's like an arch file and a bunch of specters in here. Which does not bode well for me at the moment with my current health. Uh, I don't remember this. God, you guys are invisible in the dark. I feel like I may have been too clever in picking that uh, partial invisibility effect. It looks real smooth, but also it doesn't stand out at all. Hello. Uh, it's doing pretty well at keeping me, like, topped up on, well, at least on bullets and shells. I haven't seen a rocket in some time. Oh, I, I want that. I want that extra life so bad. Another rocket launcher. Uh... Maybe I will hold off in the armor until I get blasted a few more times. Oh, you guys can't come down. The stairs are too steep. Right? I forget exactly how the monster padding works, but there's there's some types of like sector transitions that they really do not like. Hello. God, health. Ah. A. Hello. I'm playing Doom, the video game. That's cool. Yeah, I'm winning. Oh, no! <laughs> Apparently this whole room is radioactive. Are you? Oh, no. Oh, no. Kind of. You want to see how far I am in this map? Uh, how can you tell? Well, I can look at the map. Ah! I've been playing for almost an hour. Oh and my goodness. the gray is where I have not yet been. Okay, I have a question though. Yes? If I make some food, are you going to eat it? Yes, but take your time. It's been the map, yeah. so it'll be some time. Okay. But I have to do the meat grinder, which might be loud. Okay, well, room. that's fine. It will be a metaphor for my body for your, going through for this you map. Being meat grounded. Yeah. Meat ground. I suppose that's reasonable. Well, if we're making too much noise, sorry, I can't stop up. Okay. That's fair. Oops, I got stuck on a railing. Okay. Uh, how far back did I just go? Not very. Okay, I do like this as... I guess I turned this on and now it's radioactive? Like... Oh no, because I had a radiation suit before. Um... I really gotta kill you before I take on the archfile. And then I really gotta kill the archfile with rockets. Which... seems difficult. Oh, I got stuck on the same railing!
Okay, now I gotta snipe him. Wait, did he die? Oh my god. Magnificent. Alright, that lowers this lift, I think. Please don't shoot me in the face. Please don't shoot me in the face. Okay, everything's everything's coming up, Doom Guy. It's radioactive here. Come on. Okay. Um, did we make any progress? We came outside just to go back inside. Oh my God. I wonder how long this took. I, I am really bad at at completing Doom maps because I want everything to be a set piece, and that's not actually how level design works. But this feels like it's almost entirely not set pieces. Like, I mean, I don't want to call it filler, but you know, the stuff that goes between your really big cool parts. There, there's a couple really big cool parts, like this was one. But there's a lot of the not that. And I don't know how you would fill a map with, with just that stuff anyway. But, oh, I have one rocket. So I guess this is a, a good opportunity. Oh, beautiful. And I don't know, that's not bad. I mean, this this is, I don't want, it's, it's not that it's bad. It's just that it's fucking ridiculous. I can definitely see why this would be memorable because I feel like half the Doom community must surely still be playing this map. Uh, where the hell is this? Is this new or old? Having played it once before is also turning out to be somewhat of a of an impediment because everything looks slightly familiar. Okay, so I guess I have to jump down and then something really bad will happen. Oh, look at that. Oh my god. Oh no. Alright. Uh, okay, well, first things first, that guy needed to die. And also, I really need a corner where I will not get shot as much. Oh, please stop. Please stop. Please don't. Everyone, stop what you're doing right now. Man, adding just a couple chain guns to this is really very rude. Okay. I just gotta fucking... What gun is good for this? I don't know. I really want everyone to fight. Oh, this... This looks handy. Let's do this. Um, I don't know how I'm going to get Mancubi and Kakadimus to fight from this corner. But on the other hand, eh, fuck it. Uh oh. The spiders are coming. Someone is shooting the Arachnotron. Interesting. Oh, you're mad at me. I don't like that. Uh, yeah, knock yourself out. Don't mind me. I'll just, uh, kill your brethren. Ow. Okay. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, my goodness. What? Who? Ow. Fuck off. It's fine. It's fine. Safe to save. It's fine. Wow. Okay. That's that. I feel like just a room with like ten monsters in it should not be giving me this much trouble. Are 
guess something about this was uh, just very damn. <laughs> very well designed to just be a bitch. Got rockets, right? Yeah, I got a couple. I didn't even try to dodge that. I don't know what I'm doing. I should play this game more. I basically only play Doom when I stream it. <laughs> so otherwise it feels like, well, I'm missing an opportunity to stream something. Why would I do that? I better just not play it. Okay. Alright. What what now? This one opens. Oh, of course. It's that fucking guy. Did you know the internal name for the arch file is that fucking guy? It's it's not true, but it should be. Oh, ho, that was lucky. Uh, that was not. Get out of the freaking way. Oh, come on. There we go. Uh, here's an archfile fact that is true. Um, so monster sprites are indexed as letters for some reason. Like the the imp, the imp for some reason was originally called the trooper. Uh, so all its sprites are like T R O O A one or something. And the A is like the the frame number, and the one is the angle. Which kind of feels like they, they missed out on on a few numbers. Since you can have eight letters in a name, but there's reasons for that. Anyway, so this seemed fine because basically everyone has like idle frame, walking frame. Ow, what is happening? And and then like an attack frame and a couple death frames. And that's basically it, so it's you know like a dozen, whatever. There's that many letters. Uh, but then they made the Archvile, who has a really complicated attack sequence and also uh, the resurrection thing. And it actually has more than 26 frames. So they just sort of kept going in ASCII and the next, it goes from Z to like left bracket, oh, backslash right bracket or something, which is... It's just very silly. I'm I'm not good at those guys. Maybe I should oh I don't have any more rockets. Well if they're below me though, and the rockets try to go upwards, and that's good. Come on. What am I doing? What does this button do? Something else? I, I don't know. Oh, wait. Health. Let's do that. That seems like a good idea. Uh, that opened... This? Yes. Okay. Okay. Well, that's better. I don't know what I just pressed. I'm real tired of doors that look like doors and are not. Okay. Where does that even go? Oh, it goes up to the other side where I have not been yet. Alright. So I guess we gotta do... We gotta do Revenant Cave. So that is... Uh, no. Not here. Wait. Not the other side? Yeah. Uh... Oh, I picked up three rockets. Let's freaking use them. Let's miss with one. Do not trust that. Do not hit me in the back of the head. I watch Doom videos all the time, and I guess, I guess I've just 
train myself to think, yeah, I'll just, I'll just do that. Uh, and it's, it's more difficult than that. Still don't see any secrets. Wait. Oh no, that's the button for the lift. What is... Oh, those look like monster closets. Hmm. Well, this doesn't seem to have helped in any way. So... I guess I do need to do something over here. Can I press this more than once? No. Huh? Uh, is this new? This looks very new. Oh, oh good. Oh my goodness. Um, alright, if you guys could like, get lower and shoot each other, I would really appreciate it. Hello. Uh oh. Come on, Kakos. Come on. Come on, get near the ground. If you go near them, they, they lower to bite you. There we go. Absolute clusterfuck. Frickin' skeleton up there. How have you, nobody hit me? Oh, there's not enough skeletons. Crap. Come on. Someone hit someone. Yeah. Ow. Uh. That. Well, I only know that was a waste because I have an illegal mod, so it's okay. Keep, I'll keep my one rocket just in case. Just in case I really need it. Okie dokie. Don't pick up that box. But do press that. Um, I should probably, I should probably kill you. I bet that's a good idea. Oh, there's another one. Maybe just, uh... Well, we're definitely, uh, racking up the monster count. We are past the halfway mark now. And that is another big lift to what I assume is outside. But I hear breathing, which suggests someone is still alive. Also, I never figured this out. Can I... can I go anywhere? What? Who is shooting someone? There something? No. I really... I don't know. I wish I knew how to get up to that other corner. But I don't see, like, any more... Any more buttons. I don't think there's any secrets. Yeah. So I don't... I don't know how I fixed the lift to get up to that side? Is that a plasma gun? No, it's a shotgun. Kind of looks like I've already been over there. I don't know. I guess I guess we'll just take the big lift and see where it goes. Yeah, no, no secret stuff. Well, this is quite a lift. What? 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 Oh.
That was... That was tricksy. Where's the revenants that I clearly hear? They're gonna shoot me in the back of the head. Uh, as soon as I press this switch. <laughs> oh! Ow. Well, that was a surprise twist. Where'd you go? Huh. This game's really hard. I like this hallway. It's very pretty. Okay, this little, like, peekaboo where everyone else gets to shoot me is very bad. On account of it lets everyone shoot me. I guess let's use some bullets. I got, I got a lot, and he keeps trying to give them to me, and I can't, I can't take any. Where did? You, oh, there's stairs right there. Let's chain gun a boss, a mini boss. I think, I think if your final, if your final level has two of something, then it's not a boss anymore. It's a mini boss. Oh, let's let's chain gun an arch file. Hey, where's your attack frame? I would... I should probably know that. Oh yeah, this adds more frames to the arch file. How the hell does it do that? Uh, another one of these little platforms. That's interesting. Okay. Uh, this is new, right? Oh. Okay, we'll do that in a minute. Refill room. Always guarded. It's kind of funny. Uh, no secrets. A big, a big goat guy, you know, one and one. Did not do a good job dodging any of that. No secrets. I don't understand. They they must not be on the auto map, but now by looking at the map I am just not even trying to find them and accidentally screwing myself. But in a map this big, I don't even know what to look at. Like is is this something? I don't know. Uh no, not there, here. This feels familiar. This reminds me of some map where I did a, a cyber demon fight in like an underground cave like this. But I killed the cyber demon and it, it didn't work. Like it was supposed to open a door or something and didn't. And I don't really know why. And we spent like 20 minutes here. I don't think it was this map though. This doesn't look quite right. Unless it is. I don't know. Christ. No. Don't do it. Oh, there's a lot of invisible guys. Also, fucking imps somewhere. Do I have rockets? Yes. Ooh. Cool. Goodbye. Stop shooting me. Okay. Oh, goodness. Well, uh, it's about to escalate again, I guess. But not yet. Is there a BFG in this map? I don't know. I like this, okay, this is, this is adorable, this tiny portable lamp with, with a dead guy. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I love I love you went from never watch Doom immediately to oh my gosh it's so dark and scary. There's there's a bunch of interviews with John Romero floating around where it's it really seems like the thing he most loves about Doom is it's automatically scary because stuff further away from you gets darker. And there's light levels built into the maps and all this stuff, so there's just a lot of tension all the time. And a lot of doors that don't open. Oh, it's this fucking guy. I have dynamic lighting and stuff on too, which adds a lot more light than would usually be here. Because uh, that didn't exist in 1993. Oh, fuck off. Keeps, it keeps putting stuff right behind me, and then I don't know it's there. It's not fair. That's another plasma gun. Interesting. Boy, I have a lot of plasma now. Oh. Well, thanks for the health. And blue armor? Oh, no. Maybe this is a cyber demon coming up. Oh boy. Oh it is. This is that this is that part. There he is. Okay. Well, I was wrong. Um it's two of them. It's fine, you know, I'm 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 pro Doom player. I totally could kill two cyber demons with all this cover. Eh. Yeah, come on, we can totally do this. First try. I love the fire blue portal they came out of. That's absolutely gorgeous. Whoa. Come on. Takes 177 cells to kill a cyber demon. I apparently wasted too many. Ooh. That went a lot better this time. I gotta say. I love it. Fire blue is just the portal texture. Um, okay. And yeah, and then this is supposed to open once you kill both of them, but it doesn't. So I'm gonna I'm gonna no clip through that real quick. That's another thing I love about this game, like sometimes stuff is just broken. Um, but it's okay because this is a game with that's always had a zillion cheat codes and like just sort of arguably debug stuff and so if something breaks you can fix it what oh survive cyber demon only to be shot by one chain gunner And after all that, we're back into the base. This almost looks like we're back at the beginning. It feels like I've gone nowhere and accomplished nothing. Who puts two cyber demons in the middle of their map? This fucking guy. Why is there like one drooping pixel in the middle of this? Uh, okay, I don't really want to deal with that right now. I don't really want to deal with that right now either. <laughs> yeah, come on. Get him.
I like I like just making a absolute big chaotic mess out of even more than like three monsters. I feel like the game has infighting, therefore as much stuff as possible should die that way. But of course the bigger a mess you make, the harder it is to keep yourself out of it. But that's okay. I knew it. I knew. Oh, I already have a red key. Oh my god, I have all the keys. Unless this map uh, uses skull keys. So, um, for clarity, the original game had three key colors, red, blue, yellow. I've got three keys, and as you can see in the bottom right. Um, but it had two versions of every key, a key card and a skull key. Um, and they were technically different in your inventory, but there was absolutely no difference between them. Like, you never got both versions of the same key in one map. It was purely thematic. As you went more into hell levels, you would start seeing skull keys. And I was like, cool, whatever. And then some nerds got a hold of the source code and added just what seemed like some... Okay, so they're they're going to be grinding, so I don't know how much the mic is picking that up. But, uh... They, they went for some general purpose editing enhancements and one of the things they did was they made it possible to make a door that requires specifically a key card or specifically a skull key or specifically all six. So now you can make maps with six different keys, which is ridiculous. And anyway, I am a little worried that's what this map will be doing. Uh, I guess, I guess I gotta, I gotta kill some revenants. I remember having some trouble with this room. It's just like two revenants though, why? Did something bad happen? When I hit that button, maybe? buddy okay there sure are a lot of shells in here okay yeah now well this isn't much did I play this on UV last time no I feel like there would have been like a third cyber demon on UV actually for all I know a map this big just doesn't have difficulty settings that's entirely possible. Uh, okay, that did open this. That looks like an archfile. Who wants to bet it's an archfile? Oh, it's an archfile. Um, there's nothing in here. Why did I do this? Does what? Is something just different here now? No. What? I can't believe that was completely pointless. Okay. Is this open? No. No. Uh oh. Okay, chat says, uh... This- oh. I found a button. This only uses the three basic keys. Uh-oh. Don't do that. I put so much work into killing that Magnus. And you just, you just ruin it. More cool archvile trivia. Uh, when the archfile dies, uh, he screams, why? I think it's actually, it's like a little girl saying why, but like super pitched down. If you undo it, you can recognize exactly the, the cadence of him saying it, and it's really creepy. But according to Romero, it's because he's, he's the healer, and so he doesn't understand why anyone would kill him. Which is weirdly tragic for... 
most fucking terrifying monster in this game. I remember... I remember some weird stuff happening with things opening at this point in the game. Oh, god damn it. Where are you? I don't know. Somewhere. Go! Oh. Hmm. He has successfully protected himself with a wall of invisible meat. But I have successfully offended with bullets. Okay. Uh, let's check out this room first. Plasma. Health. Invisible guy. Oh! Invisible guy. Yeah, it is, it is just starting to throw a lot of stuff at me all the time now, so I think we're going to accelerate towards the end of this. Uh, okay, I don't know what that did. Probably opened the door. Can I get over there? Yes! A secret containing one rocket. Just what I needed. Is this new? Yes. Speaking of rockets... Mm. Can, I, can I shotgun snipe you guys from here? Surprisingly, yes. Cool. I feel like this is going much better and much faster than the first time I played this. In another super shotgun. Is this deathmatch compatible? I can't even imagine. Ah, oh, you jerks. Very, very rude. It's just like. Just a crate that moves around and occasionally bites you. Can we, uh, can you imagine trying to deathmatch on the- Oh! Fuck. I was like, I wonder what's back here. Haha, <laughs> I bet it's something cool. Alright. Getting better at fighting them, I think. Um. Nothing in here is interactable. So I guess we're doing this. I love that I keep walking to rooms and they're just looking at terminals or whatever. You know, that classic thing that zombies do. The lore of this game is so incomprehensible. Like, they're, they're zombie people, but also everyone is a demon from hell. Is that a thing demons do? Is possess dead humans? It is in Doom. What are you guys doing? Nothing. Okay. Um, I appreciate armor bonuses when I have blue. Oh yeah, every time I turn a corner now, there's just there's just a lot. Okay, not like a lot, a lot, but you know, more than two guys with shotguns. So there is, there is palpable escalation here. This is an ominously empty room with a single button in it. Oh, look, stuff came out. Oh my god, I, I wish this map had more rockets.
This is not a super effective use of plasma, but man, shooting these guys is so time consuming. I'm gonna hurry. My speed runs at an hour 26, oh my god. I've, I've never played this map again, holy crap. Alright, now, I was rubbing my nose, it itched. They're just, they're just pumping out the arch files left and right now. Also, I need more shells. Do I leave shells somewhere? I did. Um, I do not want to be left without them. I left super shotgun and stuff right here, yeah. That's a little better. Okay. Uh, how do you even design this? I don't know. Where, where was I two seconds ago? Is that here? Yes. Button I haven't pressed. What a surprise. These guys are called Fatso internally. Like, clearly the name um, was not thought up until somewhat later. Uh, I don't know what that last button did. This is all the same. Did it open a big door way back here? Yes. Wait. Oh my god, I did come all the way back to the beginning. Wait, no I didn't. This is still the cave thing. Is this new? This just opens out into the into the caves now. And I cannot see a goddamn thing. I vaguely remember getting sniped from everywhere. Specifically here. Um, but that did not happen. Maybe it happens later. Hello? What? This race, this was my race I got from Circlay. Dassey Inferior. So oh. Costco. Okay, I'll write them a letter. We gotta go to Costco. Alright. Just let me know. I got I'm it. sorry that Signature Select has let you down once again. It super has. <laughs> I was like, okay, the race is picked, I'll take and then it's like all stuck together. That's that's a strange property for rice to have. Huh. We usually get a big old bag of Costco rice, but we ran out. So we bought a tiny bag of Safeway rice, and I guess it's just been a letdown. I do I do really like how this map makes it feel like this is built into, just just carved into the landscape. Like just just this like this out here is like like they got a strut holding that on both sides, and clearly this is just a tiny cave. And they're like, all right, here's where we're putting our Minecraft base. Which is right right here. We just dig right into here. And that's. It's a very good sense of... It's a good sense of place for the whole base, even if I don't know what the hell any of these rooms are. I heard an arch file. Oh, what a surprise. It was an arch file. Can we, can we do rockets? That might be a bad idea. Oh, uh-oh. Time to go. Yeah. Whoops. Okay. Um, let's do rockets faster. Let's probably kill the, the resurrection guy first. Oh, nice. Oh, he's going to be mad forever. Oh, no, because I shot him. Four shots? Come on. Someone's taking their vitamins. Eh, we'll save that for a minute. I still got blue for now. Um, we are very nearly... Oh, no, no, we're past uh, two-thirds. 
Okay. Oh, now we're starting to get just plasma for free. Oh, this looks bad. What are these? Why is one of them longer? Weird. What a weird... Huh. Um... Nothing happened. It's very suspicious. Did anyone hear? Oh, that's how I come in. Wait, oh yeah, I've only... This has only been like two rooms. What? Do I go... Do I go back? Okay, well I clearly see on the auto map that these open and something happens. Oh! They only open when you're wondering why they haven't opened yet. Brilliant map design. Not even secret. Uh... Alright. Well, now I'm kind of wondering how many other traps I have accidentally not sprung. Do I just... backtrack, really? Oh, yep, that's new. Okay, I heard teleporters. Oh, here we go. Alright, I really need to kill the guy with a gun or I cannot even leave this alcove. Come on. Hit him. Get him. Yeah. I love Mancubi versus Cacodemons. It's very satisfying. Just just Mancubi firing into a cloud of Cacodemons. Truly, nature is beautiful. And you guys, uh are politely lining up for a ticket to the gun show that's where I that's where I show you my gun that shoots bullets I remember being a kid playing this game and well I'm using Z-Doom's alternate HUD so you can't actually see it but like uh, on this where it says like bullets and shells I did not understand the difference between bullets and shells. I mean, if it comes out of a gun, it's a bullet, right? That was the extent of my gun understanding. Ow. There were no, like, interesting consequences to this, I just didn't get it. Holy crap. Oh, oh. Gotcha. Uh, I'm on shells again. It's it's kind of a shame that like I feel there are a couple numerical errors in uh, in the Doom roster and occasionally like usually when like a, a well-known mapper does like a megawad usually they will deliberately fix those errors I should go back and get that green armor that'd be a good idea uh, and it feels like kind of a shame to me that we can never just sort of agree as as a society to make those changes permanent and they're things like um, having the health of lost souls and I already forgot the other one I was thinking of honestly that's a big one. Oh, also uh, doubling the firing speed of the chain gun like Valiant because the the chain gun was designed for Doom 1, and as it stands in Doom 2, it kind of sucks. Doom 2 really fills out the, the mid-tier a lot, 
whereas Doom 1 didn't. I mean, it had, like, the Cacodemon, that was it. Um, so, like, Doom 1 would have a lot of big swarms of, like, just imps or, like, zombies. And ch Chain Gun is fine for that, even satisfying. But you reach Doom 2 where that doesn't happen very often, and suddenly it's like, well, what are you ever going to use this for? Uh, but Valiant's Chain Gun... Um, it also increased the capacity by 50%, so it goes real fast, kind of tears through stuff, kind of equivalent to the Super Shotgun, except with no reloading, and also causes them to flinch a lot, but it chews through ammo like nobody's business, so it kind of balances itself with very little effort required. Yeah, I like the health bar. like. I don't know. It, it also helps on maps that just have a lot of tough enemies. It helps me feel like I'm making some progress to see something happen somewhere. Otherwise, it's... Oh, Christ. Rocket time. I mean, it is, it is a little bit cheating because now I can, like, tell which one is closer to death and stuff. But, man, just shooting, like, a like two cyber demons. I didn't even use it there. I just shot them forever. But you know, in, in general, shooting a lot of really tough enemies and they only start dropping after a while is so demoralizing. <laughs> Anis, please don't bite my leg. Hmm. Also, it does help me tell if I'm, like, using something efficiently. Like, if I keep shooting with the super shock, well, the numbers do that, not so much the bar, but to me, they kind of go hand in hand. But yeah, if I'm, if I'm shooting with the super shotgun and I keep seeing, like, four, then clearly I have made an error in judgment. So it's like some, it's like training wheels. This is quite a lift. I don't remember what the end of this map is. Oh, come on. Like, do we get to the surface? What is... Oh, no, no! <laughs> come back! Uh, okay. Oh my god. The longest lift in the world. Uh, Anis bites me to let me know he's hungry or feels like biting me. Sometimes, sometimes I genuinely cannot figure out what it is. Like, I'll interact with him, I'll play with him forever, we'll have a great time. No, no, I'm, I don't want to wait for that. Uh, and then he'll just bite me. And then, I don't know. Sometimes he does love bites, but those are different. It's not like he bites all the time, he just... Sometimes. Please, pain chance. Uh, whatever. God. What is it, 10% on Arch Files? Hello! Where is this? Somewhere I've been before. Interesting. And no way to go back down. Have I made... Why did I just quick save after saying that? I don't know. I hope I have not made a grave error. Oh, uh-oh. Well, no, this is new. Um... Oh, well, it's on there. Okay. Button. Ah! No, oh, no! I am really low on shells. Where'd they all go? I felt like the game was being real generous with them, and then, uh, the well ran dry. Oh, I thought that was a non tracer.
Get out of here. Yeah, you have a good peen chance. Shells. Shells. This looks... This looks like the room where I first pointed out. Sometimes there's just a 45 degree detail, but no, no, the... The sort of door track side bit was also angled there. I just... I, I can no longer tell anything apart. This room is a dead end. No, it's not. There's just... there's just more rooms. There's just more... rooms. Oh my god, wait! Yeah, we've been here before. Ah! Uh, oh no! Well, okay, this is new. Wait. Wait, what is... what is highlighted there? Oh, that. Okay, no, I... I don't even know how to get up there. Why did that open stuff behind me? Tricky door. Why does the UAC have tricky doors? Goodness gracious. Okay, this is how you get up here. And there is no reason for it. There's not even anywhere to put secrets. Everything is so tight. All the rooms just run right into each other. I think my favorite part of uh, Smooth Doom is the teleporter flash. It looks fucking amazing. I wish I got to do more teleporting. So far this map has mostly been teleporting monsters directly up my butthole. Hi Anis. Cool. Uh, I, j I just walk, and if I see corpses, I turn around. It's called it's called a death first search. <laughs> uh, I am a card, of course. fuck out of my level. No! No, it got bad. No! It got real bad. I can't believe that. It's like the- it's like the author knew exactly what I was gonna do. Just rush in and be like, fuck this guy. One arch file alone? Yeah, I don't think so. I heard that. Maybe not. There's not even anything in- wait, I, I can never tell if anything I do was just a stupid trap or actually, like, required progression. Oh my god. Another lift. This one is creepy. Is this one gonna- no, it's not tall enough freeze in midair and then teleport a baron into this very small space. What if it stopped right there? Okay. Okay. Wait. This also looks familiar, but it's not. This is just getting ridiculous. You know that movie, Inception? You know the end bit? This map is like the end bit. Okay. Uh, that can't be the exit, right? Is that open the exit? Oh, I need to press three switches to open the exit. That's a cute. Ah, fucking Christ! I'm trying to narrate my experience. Anyway, I don't know where the exit is, so uh, I guess it's cool that we've got a head start on unlocking it. Let me just... Oh, uh-oh. Ah! Let me, let me just... 
fucking blast these guys. Ow. Uh, I remember the good old days when I had armor. But those days are long gone now. How How is the map looking? Oh, that... Wow. We did a lot. Okay. Um... Well, that looks... Ominous. I do wish, like, something in the in the design had been saved until the end here, because it is weird to be back to the, like, I feel like this is exactly how the room started, but now it's the end. And I've been playing for, like, two hours, and it doesn't seem like I've gotten further. I don't know. I mean, you know, it's fucking gorgeous. But, oh man, I, I wish there were some more just sort of... Um, uh, uh-oh. Oh, this is all about to just be very bad. Oh, should not have done that. Wait, oh, I remember this. All of this stuff opens now, and I can just run all the way around and totally fuck myself. Okay, well, that was good. Let's get the guys with guns. And some health. And more health. Um, and it sounds like, despite my inept ministrations, uh, they're fighting. Yep. Yeah. Uh, pardon? Yeah. Uh, give me, like, crap. How much longer is this freaking map? I don't know. Uh, well, well, we'll give it, we'll give it a minute and see what happens. Stop shooting there. Shoot someone else. Uh, there's, there's no way I can finish this in, like, five minutes. There's still 150 monsters left. Ah! Uh, no. No! It got worse. I forgot that it gets worse. I found all 150 monsters at once. Oh, Christ. I really need to kill that archfile really, really badly. I'm not doing it, though. Hmm. So, I think... Yeah, this all just totally changes to something completely different. So I think I need to press this and then get the fuck out of here. Oh, wait, it's not even this part. Uh, hmm. This is a map. The needs to have more rockets. Uh, this is, uh, well, it could be better. You. Okay, well, let's kill these guys first and then unleash hell. So, two rockets, that's helpful. And we'll, uh, take another crack at this. Cool. That's a start. Alright, well now I have an, an open, empty room that well, I, I can come back here. Up. That's great. Now if I go in here, more bad stuff happens. 
Oh look, it's more bad stuff. And things teleport in everywhere. And that door no longer opens by some sort of wizardry. Now, we no longer have a nice place to be and to just exist. So instead, we will do just a giant surface strafe. Um, this is not going too bad. I mean, it's not not great, but you know. Uh, yeah. All right, you guys. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to cut and run in a second, and maybe continue this in like 45 minutes. Uh, at, at a very very dramatic moment, I must add. Oh, goodness. Oh, there's, there's multiple of them. I don't... Okay. I would like to sort of clear out this mess before I go. Alright. I guess we should do more plasma. I don't like that. did it. Oh. I totally forgot those guys are up there. Oh my god, I'm out of bullets. Okay. Well, that looks like the button that will bring about my untimely demise. So we will we will cut it here and resume um, later tonight. Hope everyone is looking forward to Jade Earth Part Two. We've only been doing this for two hours. <laughs> Back later. <laughs>